What is up guys? Andy of Andy Likes Things here coming at you again with yet another video. And today I'm going to talk to you about the unbranded denim I have here. Uh, a huge fan of these. You know, right out of the gate I can tell you guys that. I, um, I got these uh, probably about a year ago maybe. You can see they're not super worn. I've got like three pairs of denim that I kind of rotate and these, um, these unfortunately don't make it in, make the cut as often as I'd like, but um, they're a great, great pair of denim. Uh, they're a dog hair magnet, if you can see that. I have a golden retriever and he sheds like it's a, his job and uh, these are covered in dog hair right now. So know that. Uh, that said, they're a very less shiny version of some salvage jeans that I've had in the past. I've had Naked and Famous, I'm currently wearing some Taylor Stitch, and they're a very like raw, uh, there's probably a word for it, and forgive me, I'm not the most well-versed when it comes to raw and salvage denim, but maybe it's the Sanfordized versus unsanfordized, uh, something along those lines. Uh, there's a super handy little tag here. So this brand, or excuse me, this in particular cut is the UB101 Skinny. And these aren't super skinny on me, which is really, really nice. I did have them tailored, so they do taper quite a bit more now. But when I, I remember when I first got them, obviously I was like, I need to get these tailored because they're still kind of baggy. Um, they're a size 33. I usually wear a size 33. Yeah, and uh, I usually wear a size 33. I know that's what I wear for Naked and Famous and also my Taylor Stitch ones. I get my Ron Selvage ones a little bit uh, baggier, uh, the waist a little bit bigger than the normal just because that's what I was told. Um, so yeah, I get these in a size 33. I usually wear a size 32 or 31. I think I'm a size 30 waist. I like to have a little bit of, little bit of movement, a little bit of room, as well as I throw on a belt too. So these are size 33 on me. Going back to the wash and the look of them, they're not, like I said, a very shiny denim. So they're very understated yet really, uh, really rigid and very. Uh, if you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but there, there's a very uh, textile them more than you would like the uh, these um, these more shiny selvage raw denim denim jeans um, that said they're great for the winter because they're a little more thick and uh, you know as 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 I've, I stated on on the video with my Red Wing mock toes and my Iron Rangers which I'll link below these two get better with time you know there are reddit threads and I'm sure tumblers dedicated to denim fades, you know, the fades that people get when they wear raw denim for a long time. And I've had a couple, you know, like I said, I, I have a rotation of, of some denim that I wear. So unfortunately mine doesn't fade as quickly as, as some others might, but you know, you get that worn look and you really get a sort of customized version of your own jeans, which is super, super cool if you think about it. Um, and plus they just end up looking really cool, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll link some, some Reddit threads below so you can take a look at, at the various fades that people have had and, and just sort of warm up to the idea of, of how that's going to look and, and how these are going to change over time. These have been, haven't been washed yet. I have not washed these or soaked these. I haven't frozen them either. Um, for those who may not know, you freeze you, a good way to, to, to get the, um, you know, the smells and all that kind of stuff out of this denim. Uh, without washing it is to freeze it. I believe you freeze it for like one or two weeks. So if you get a pair of these and you need to end up freezing them, be sure you have a backup pair of, of denim or pants that you can can wear for uh, you know that that uh, amount of time because they're going to need to be in there. Apparently, I've never done it like I said, but they're going to be need to be in there for about a week, a week and a half, um, just so what it can do, whatever it needs to do. I don't understand the process. I've told people that they're like, you freeze your jeans. I'm like, I've never done it. I've heard of people doing it, but I have yet to try it. So that said, like I said, these haven't been washed. These are kind of what they look like out of the box. They're much more, much more, much more rigid when you first get them. They're very, you really got to put them on and kind of go on a run with them almost and just get that first layer of gunk and, and uh, not gunk, but get that first layer of rigid, you know, uh, kind of, muck off of it just so you can wear them on a daily basis and you're not like oh my god my skin or my back I remember when I first got these in fact 
I was having really bad back pains, lower back pains, because the way I would sit, it would constrict, it would, it would almost push, pull me forward in, in such a way. It, it did something to my waist where I remember telling my dad specifically, like, man, my back hurts. And he was like, what's wrong with your back? I was like, well, these jeans. He's like, what are you talking about? Your jeans are giving you back pain. Get some different jeans. I'm like, no, it's worth it. Um, and it is worth it. You know, the more you wear these, the more faded they're going to get. And it's not to say you're going to have back pain with these. You probably won't. I'm sure it was the way I sit. You know, in fact, doing this video, I keep doing this um, as I adjust myself. Uh, but yeah, these are, I'm a huge fan of these. In fact, I did a write, write up on them on andylikesthings.com. I'll link that below as well. Um, that'll maybe give you a more detailed um, look at them. Some background on Unbranded as well. These are a button fly, which I think are super um, convenient. Just button it up quick. I'll show you what it's like. A lot of people, I have some friends who can't really wrap their head around button flies. I'm like, well, it's, it's way more convenient. Uh, <laughs> fewer things can go wrong, we'll say, if you have a button fly, but like, if you, you know, whatever, unbutton it, and bop, you just pull, and it's all good. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. The rivets are super cool. They're very, uh, like, brass, so it's a very cool contrast to the super dark navy denim. Um, pretty pretty uh, standard uh, stitching. Everything you'll see, this, this selvage uh, marker, as you can tell. As it, So the way you can tell if it's a selvage or a raw pair of jeans, from my understanding, is... If you look at, if you flip flip the pant leg open and you see these these little some sort of design here, or if it gets white here on the on the on the very right and the very left of the inseam, now uh, the colors will will um, be different. Uh, I just saw a pair of jeans today that instead of this blue line, there was a, a red line. So it it can it can vary per manufacturer, but um, this goes all the way up through the leg. Again, these I had tapered a little bit, so as you can kind of see, there's some fraying, and you can tell there was some work done to them, um, so they won't be this skinny when you get them. And and Unbranded does a really good, really good job of um, creating different fits. Like there isn't there's an all skin. There's a skinny, a standard, uh, more boot cut one, as well, more a more boot cut as well. Um, but yeah, these are all around. These are really good. A really good uh, denim. I say in the blog post that these are perfect for people who just want to get started in denim or kind of see what it's all about. These run about 82 bucks, and these Taylor Stitch ones were I think about 145, something like that. They might have been on sale for cheaper. I don't remember. Naked and Famous ones were about 165. So these are considerably less money, and uh, some may argue have better fades than both Naked and Famous and Taylor Stitch. I don't know yet. Obviously, I haven't had a ton of fades with, with my stuff yet, but. Um, something to keep in mind. Like I said, 82 bucks for these uh, straight away. Don't wash them for a while. You know, a lot of people say to kind of wear them for a year or even two years without actually washing or soaking them. Do whatever you want. I mean, if you have a super bad ketchup stain, you're not going to freeze that and then, uh, you know, it's not going to go away. I mean, you could and it may may actually look cooler in the long run, but kind of do, do whatever you want. Um, if they're super uncomfortable right away, maybe either don't buy them or stick it out and see see what it's like once you uh, once you wear them for about uh, two or three months every day straight. Um, yeah, that's kind of that's that's my review of the unbranded uh, 101 skinny jeans. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link below to the um, blog post I have about these. It gives you more detail than my ramblings here. Um, I'll put a couple links in there as well to my other boot reviews, um, the videos, and the blog posts as well. This is Andy of Andy Likes Things signing off, remembering to tell you to hug your friends, to kiss your family, call your mom, call your dad, call your grandparents, call your aunt, uncle, whoever, whomever. Hug your dogs, spread love, do all that fun stuff. Uh, life is short, and we need to have fun doing it. Um, so yeah. Andy, Andy likes things. Signing off.